Welcome to the TB2G tutorial. In this video, we are going to discuss about the TB2G output files. We will use the 2D material chromium iodide as an example. So first, let's have a look at the uh, output files. We have the exchange.out file, which is a human readable file, which, where we can find the information about uh, uh, the, the structure and the uh, exchange parameters for each atomic pair. And then the JVSR file, which gives us an overview of the exchange parameter as a function of the distance. Then we have several files as input for the uh, for some spin dynamics code, multi binit, Tom's ASD, and Vampire. With this file, we could do spin dynamics and uh, get uh, things like the uh, TC and the Magnon spectrum, etc. And then we have the tb2j.pico file, which can be easily read by Python to uh, do some post-processing. And uh, let's first look into the detail of the exchange.out file. So it has several sections. First is the information section, which gives some general information, uh, for example, uh, which version of TB2J and when it is generated and uh, so on. Then we have the cell section and autumn section, which gives the uh, atomic structure. And in the autumn section, we also output the charge for each atom and the, uh, the magnetic moment of each atom. This can be used to, to check if the uh, TB2J calculation uh, consists with the DFT results. Then uh, the most important thing is the exchange par uh, parameter section. So in this, in this section, uh, we display each pair of atom and the uh, isotropic exchange and DMI and, uh, and isotropic exchange parameter for, for, for this atom pair. And for each atom pair, it is defined by three parameters, I, J, and R. I and J are the navel of this atom in the primitive cell, and R is the, uh, is the, ve is the cell vector which uh, the J atom is inside. We can uh, visualize that with the atomic structure in a supercell. Uh, let's have a look. For example, uh, in this structure, we have uh, in the primitive cell we have two chromium at atoms, chromium one and chromium two. If we plot the supercell with several surrounding atoms, we can see the uh, see this more clearly. And we can plot the chromium bonds and remove the iodium atoms to be more clear. Then we could see the first atomic pair is chromium 1, chromium 2, 0, 0, 0. So it's going from chromium 1 to chromium 2, and chromium 2 is in the cell 0, 0, 0, which is the original uh, cell. And the second one is uh, basically the same just the opposite direction. Uh, and the third one is chromium 1, chromium 2, which is uh, chromium 1 here. And chromium 2 is in the cell 0, minus 1, 0. So the minus 1 is, uh, is the minus B here. So it goes from this chromium to this chromium here. So the, uh, so the atom pair is chromium 1, chromium 2. There are several other things we can notice. First is the isotropic exchange is the same uh, for chromium 1, chromium 2, and chromium 2, chromium 1. And also the anisotropic exchange. And the DMI should be different. Uh, well, here it is 0, 0, 0, so we cannot see. But if we go to, uh, for example, the second neighbor, we could see that for this pair, chromium 1, chromium 1, minus 1, 1, 0, and this pair, Chromium 1, Chromium 1, 1, minus 1, 0. They are the same atom pair, but uh, goes, from, uh, goes in different direction. Then uh, we can see that the vector is also the opposite. And we could see that the DMI is, uh, the DMI has the opposite sign. This is because the DMI is, uh, is unsymmetric. Okay, so this is the uh, exchange.out file. And we can also have a look at the JVSR file, which uh, we have the, the isotropic exchange. 
and the DMI and anisotropic exchange as function of the distance in angstrom. So here we have uh, well a, a decay of the exchange, and for the DMI we can find uh, the first neighbor is zero and the second neighbor is the largest, and uh, uh, we have also the dx and dy dz uh, decomposition here. And in the uh, anisotropic exchange, we have the different components displayed in different colors. And for the other files for spin dynamics, we could have a look at the example of multi -binit. And uh, first is the exchange.xml file, which uh, basically have the same information as the exchange.out file, but it's a XML format, which can be read by the code multi -binit. And it has uh, here the unit cell and the uh, and then we have the exchange and after that we have the uh, DMI and uh, uh, anisotropic exchange and then there is the m.in file which define the uh, parameters for the spin dynamics. With these files, we could run spin dynamics. We will see that in another video. And that is similar for the other uh, spin dynamics code outputs. Okay, this is all. And thanks for watching. See you next time.